Alright guys, it is your buddy Kintips here. Today we are playing Trails of Cold Steel 3. I believe this is my Let's Play number 40 or 41. Can't remember. It's one of those. Uh, don't worry, it'll be labeled on the file when it's uh, when it's uploaded. So, let's get going. We're on chapter 4 of the game now. So, we finished chapter 3. As you can see there, we're going to load it up and let's get going. We are now over the western part of the Isengard mountain range. Estimated arrival in Heimdall is 1410. Maintain current course and speed. Once we reach Ulster, adjust course to run parallel to the railroad. Aye aye, Captain. You have my thanks, Your Grace. Your assistance this past week has been invaluable. Think nothing of it. This is the Crimson Wing's job, after all. I've no doubt your first bout of field exercises in North Ambria saw you even busier than I. It is I who should be thanking you for your hard work. To be honest, I'm having a difficult time deciding how to proceed as a teacher. <laughs> Perhaps that is a sign of General Craig's influence. I would advise you to follow your own convictions for the time being. That way, you may... Ah, Instructor. There you are. Cadet Arner. Greetings, my lord. Seeing it up close, the Courageous is truly amazing. And though it was barely used during the Civil War, its main cannon is certainly impressive as well. Perhaps we should consider deploying a number of cruisers to match our fleet of battleships. Cadet. It is true that during an emergency, such power may prove beneficial. Learning when to use one's power and when to refrain is an important lesson. If that is the lesson your field exercises have taught you, then I'd say it is safe to declare them a success. Yes, of course. My thanks, Captain Arsaid. I look forward to seeing you again. I wish you luck patrolling the Summer Festival alongside my older brother.
damn it! How many times have they slipped away like that now? There's no end to it! We need help from the Intelligence Division or the RMP. Man, it'd be nice if all we had to deal with are those half-wits. But we can't afford to let our guard down. Spread out and lay low until the appointed time. Be sure you've got your Ramdas ready to use. Roger. Recommencing mission. Red flowers? I don't think so. <sighs> There's no end to them. The eyes which served as the vessel for the bringer of miracles. But when the flame consumed the mirage, the fairy tale became that of the Empire. So as a professional, how do you intend to intervene? Ho oh, ho! Was I that obvious? To be perfectly honest, I'm having a bit of trouble finding a lead. I was hoping we could work together as friends and colleagues and have ourselves a little information exchange. I could even help you bury the hatchet with the elder of your clan, perhaps? <laughs> That's right. You have an agreement with her, don't you? Well, I'll consider your offer. However, I ask that you play nice from now on, Mr. Former History Instructor. Or should I say, Second Dominion, Thomas Lysander the Partitioner? I would not have expected that Oliver would be missing the party like this. It is unfortunate, yet understandable, given the current situation. With the Crimson Wings safeguarding Heimdall's skies, I'm sure the citizens will feel at ease. Yes, but I can't help but feel bad for him. I wonder if he's been upset over Cedric's actions of late. Hmm. Oliver isn't the type to let that get to him. You should know this as well as I. <laughs> no, you're right. He was only a young boy when he lost his mother and was adopted into the royal family. I would have understood if he hadn't accepted me, given his early life. 
but he gladly welcomed me as his stepmother and was truly happy when Alfin and Cedric were born. <laughs> yes, that is the virtue he possesses. It's easy to believe he has friends not simply across Erebonia, but the entire continent. Yes, however, recently, even though Cedric once looked up to his older brother, he... Pardon me, Your Highness. Chancellor Osborne would like an audience. Very well. Send him in. My apologies for interrupting, my liege. You as well, Lady Priscilla. No. <laughs> It's quite all right. I shall excuse myself now. She seems to have some worries about the prince. It is to be expected. So long as she sees things differently from you. Understood. In any event, it seems things are beginning to line up with what was written in the records. Yes, though we set the timing for the Civil War ourselves. By this point, however, the ending is all but decided. But are you certain this is all right? Leaving everything in my hands? As I told you 14 years ago, if there truly is no other way to avoid this end, then I shall leave it all to you. It may place a great burden on my sons, but could not the same be said of you? Yes, my liege. Was that person you and the other instructors fought the real Saint Leanne?
without a doubt. She was tremendously strong, and that aura of hers certainly seemed real. But it's possible one of Ouroboros' members is just posing as her. Let's put that aside for now, though. Hmm. Interesting. Stingy.
Flattery won't get you anywhere. <sighs> Fine, whatever.
it was raining this hard. Oh, rain! Was it your turn to lock up today? <laughs> Thanks for taking care of things. not raining that hard. Th that's not fair. You're not giving me much of a choice. Fine. You win. We'll share the umbrella. Just don't get your shoulder wet from trying to give me more cover, okay? I wonder what you were about to say.
Maybe the clouds all got blown away? <laughs> Thanks for helping me out. Reminds me of when we went shopping together as students. And then I showed you the video of our concert from the year before. Oh, wait, let's just forget about that. <laughs> Rain, you're such a meanie. Love that.
<laughs> Not a bad view. Don't forget, we are still in the middle of class. Instructor Reen, please help me work on my swimming form. Muse? Hey! Why are you trying to drag him into the changing room? For the arch. This time for sure. <laughs> what a nice little pool party. <laughs> Agreed. Everyone sure is lively. <laughs> I'm sure they need to unwind after how hard they all work. However, if we're calling this a class, there should be some semblance of structure to it. Or perhaps a competition. One we can only hold here. I have some ice-cold drinks available for any parched throats out there.
before I came to Crossbell. I was still a Jaeger with the Red Constellation. I've got some bitter memories from back then. <laughs> True. The more I think about it, I sure am one lucky bastard. I've got friends, partners, people I can call family. And coming here, I got a bunch of good students and co-workers on top of all that. Sorry for getting serious all of a sudden, but there's something I gotta do, no matter what. Depending on how things play out, I might even have to go up against you. With that in mind... Green. <laughs> Let me rephrase that good co-worker bit I said before. You're more like my clumsy younger pal who's super direct and can't stop himself from blurting out the corniest lines in the book. I'd say that's a better fit for you. Oof, touché. Speaking of, which one of those lovely ladies is your main squeeze? Is it the blonde one? Uh, the blue-haired swordswoman? Or the one with the glasses? Uh, don't tell me it's that cute little fairy! Thank you. 
Here are today's requests. Alright guys, it is your buddy Kinsich here. We're gonna stop the video and stay tuned for my next Let's Play.